Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mello and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Palm Beach Gardens, which is on the east coast of Florida. We're going to be showing you this beautiful home by Coulter behind me and the inside of this home is absolutely amazing. It's called the Raphael model. It is a four bedroom, but could be five bedroom, five bath home with 3,623 square feet of living and the base price at time of filming and we are in July of 2022 it's gonna be $1,711,990 now that's the base price does not include the lot premiums or upgrades and this home has a ton of upgrades so this one will be well over 2 million if you're interested in finding out what the current prices are make sure you contact us at the number below and we'll get you in touch with the best realtor in the area to help you with your home purchase so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the home so of course we have the paved driveway coming up to this beautiful model home on my left here we do have all the nice tropical landscaping and then of course a three-car garage i love the brickwork here as well on each side of the carriage lights and then as we come up we see the really grand entryway with that same sort of brickwork going all the way up through the second floor and of course this tropical landscaping continues as we come up and walk up the step to the front entrance Front entrance is covered. We do have a nice chandelier above us. Some beautiful artwork here on the exterior of the home. And of course, these two doors that have the frosted glass that gives you light and also privacy. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out this amazing home. So welcome into this home. So as I close the door behind me, and I come in, the first thing I notice, of course, are these beautiful tile floors that go throughout the first floor. And then above us is gonna be a nice tray ceiling, goes all the way with these two beautiful chandeliers coming down and the wallpaper sort of makes me think that I'm in sort of like a cloudy outer space area when I look at that wallpaper. Now, one thing that you'll probably notice on the film is over here to the right, which is the rec area. So let's go ahead and go over here and talk about this area. So this is big enough to put an actual eight foot pool table in. As you can see, we have a really cool accent wall over here. The baseboards, obviously, see are really wide going around, but you can see what you could do in your own homes to really make them look luxury. And that is just some simple woodworking and paint. And that same thing is on the ceilings as well, as you can see with these cool designs, relatively easy and cheap to do. Now on the other side, we do have a cool little column going up with some built-in shelves to put all your little decor on. I think that's a nice touch as well. Now behind me is a bar. And of course this stands out as well. So you have a full bar, beautiful countertop as far as the actual color of the countertop. Also very thick as you can see and then we come over into the bar area we have plenty of cabinets all the way throughout in this nice gray color we also have a sink and a beverage refrigerator and then check out this area here with this accent wall with the built-ins and of course we have the mirror with the glass shelves across where you can put your favorite decor or also all your wine glass they have a ton of wine glasses here they must drink a lot of wine here so Haley's behind the camera today so thank you Haley for helping us out as we go over here to the left um, and we check out this area. So we're gonna go ahead and go right, and this will be one of the full bathrooms that we have in this home. So as you come here, we do have a floating cabinet, really beautiful color, and of course the countertop. The sink also floats above the countertop, mirror and a really nice light fixture. And then of course behind me is gonna be a frameless shower with this tile. We have the light co color tile on the floor and the sides, but then of course the darker color going all the way up to the ceiling as well. The next room is really cool. It is the office. So we come onto some hardwood flooring here in the office. As we walk in, there's quite a few things to talk about here. First thing that stands out to me, of course, is gonna be the built-in bookshelves. That's Haley's favorite, of course. If you follow this channel, you know Haley loves to read books. So anytime we have a lot of bookshelves, she loves that. I love the design with all the actual cabinet space on the bottom, the black shelf, and of course the black and white design behind the chair there. And then as we look up onto the ceiling, we have black ceilings with really cool crown molding. And then this floating ceiling that pops down with a little tray area in the middle for this beautiful chandelier. And then the recessed lights going all the way around. And even on this wall, they have really cool design that we sort of saw in the rec room as well. That sort of just adds that touch to a home that you don't see and a lot of homes so very easy things to do that really make a home stand out now here to the right this is the a laundry room so as we come into the laundry room the laundry room even has that same sort of woodworking that we saw in the rec room and also the office and of course the dark and the light colors on this side here we do have the washer and dryer plenty of cabinets a stainless steel sink and of course cabinets here white cabinets with stainless steel on the top and we even have a laundry jet flying above the washer so that's pretty neat as well so let's go ahead and go down here go to our left and we're gonna go into the main family room so we're gonna pass the stairs we'll talk about the stairs in a little bit but here is the family room 
So this is a really nice room. So as we come in here, a couple things really stand out. Of course, it's gonna be the built-in uh, uh, counter and also fireplace. And of course the TV where it's also got that black and white feeling and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. And of course the ceiling is the tray ceiling. And then we have this floating design coming down with recessed lights. And of course this really cool chandelier looks like uh, bubbles floating above my head right there, doesn't it? Uh, and then of course behind me is a sliding glass door looking out at the outdoor entertainment area. We'll show you that later on in the video. We'll go out there and show you what it's like to live outdoors in Florida. But let's go ahead and go over to the kitchen first. So as we go into the kitchen, we have this area here, which is gonna be your pantry. So you open this up and they have plenty of areas here where you can pull out and put all your dry goods. And of course, everything is soft clothes. Right next to this is this huge monogram refrigerator freezer combo. So it's really neat. It has this black um, uh, look on the outside that you can actually see through. I can see through and see Haley, but Haley may not be able to see me. Actually, when the lights are on, you can actually see. So, and then we continue over here. We have a monogram oven and convection oven microwave combo. And then what's really neat is right here, we have a monogram pizza oven, which is like the first time I've seen a pizza oven in a house. We've seen pizza ovens out on the uh, patio before, but not actually in the actual house. So that's really neat. If you want to do pizza, this house is the one that you need. And then we come over here. So let's talk about the center island. Of course, the center island, we have the really nice cabinets, dark gray countertops, and then the really thick white countertops going over on the counter area. It's currently set up for four people to sit so they can eat breakfast or just hang out here and talk. And of course, above us are the pendant lights that sort of match the actual family room lights as well. Then on this side, we do have a six burner gas stove top. It even has a little area here for grilling air vent as well, beautiful backsplash. And what you'll see is that the cabinets go from that dark color to the white. And then of course on the top, we do have the stainless steel with a frosted front on there, which is really cool as well. So the next stop will be the breakfast nook. So the breakfast nook is currently set up for six people to sit around and uh, hang out on. And of course we have this beautiful chandelier and of course the view looking out on the backyard. So let's go ahead and go over to the primary bedroom. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel if you like looking at luxury homes throughout Florida and also the nation. Uh, this will be a great channel to look at. And then if you're looking just for ideas for your home, this will be a great channel as well. As we enter the primary bedroom suite, we come into this very luxurious carpet. It actually bounces as we walk on it. And then the first stop here would be to the left. This will be one of the closets. So this is the bigger closet out of the two closets with a nice built-in shelves. And then on the other side, we do also have a, another closet as well. This one's a little bit smaller, uh, but you still have plenty of space in here to put some of your clothes. So the next is the actual bedroom. So we walk into the bedroom. We have the king size bed and table on either side. The windows looking out at the beautiful outdoor tropical landscaping with all the palm trees. And then of course, over here on my left, is gonna be an accent wall with bricks going all the way up to the ceiling. And then the ceiling itself is a tray ceiling, has crown molding around it, recessed LED lights, and of course, this cool wallpaper with the recessed lights in that area as well. So that is all of that area. So let's go ahead and check, take you over to the bathroom. So this is a tricky bathroom because we have lots of mirrors. And if you follow our channel, you'll know that Haley doesn't like to be on video. So let's see what we can do here to keep her out of the video. So over here to my right is gonna be the Harry Potter room, which is the under the stairs storage. So you have plenty of little storage areas here in the bathroom. And then over to my right is gonna be the actual water closet with a really high tech toilet that actually scared Haley when we walked it the first time because it actually pops open on its own. And then of course behind me is gonna be the actual sink and counter area. So we have this beautiful cabinet and of course the countertop with little sparkles in it, which is really neat. neat. And of course a mirror that goes all the way up to the ceiling with this frame around it that matches the countertop. And then of course right next to that is gonna be the tub. Tub's built in, it's got that same sort of uh, uh, counter area that goes around the whole tub. And then we have the other sink area on the other side. And of course it has the same sort of beautiful woodworking countertop and the mirror. But above this one is gonna be a window for some natural light, also gives you privacy because it is pretty tall. And then right next to that is gonna be the shower. The shower is a frameless shower for the most part, it does have a chrome edge on the top, but the actual sides are all frameless. And of course we have white tile on the floor, beige tile going up on that side. And then of course we have the darker black tile going on the far side of the actual shower. So let's go ahead and go this way. Haley, you can stand up now so we can go over and go towards the second floor. Now, if you're thinking about buying or selling anywhere in the state of Florida or anywhere nationwide, let me know. I do have lots of really great realtors that I work with that I can put you in touch with to help you with your home purchase or sale. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and check out the upstairs living area. All right, so here we are on the second floor. And first thing I know is of course, are the beautiful hardwood floors that are throughout. And then of course, over here on the left, 
What's really neat is that they've added a little extra woodworking here on the stairs. Instead of it just ending here like it typically does, they put this really beautiful design all the way around. And of course it goes around the actual loft area, which is right here. We have this beautiful light fixture coming from the ceiling. And one of my favorite features of this home house is the actual wallpaper on this accent wall right here. It actually pops out in three dimensional looks. It has all these cool cities, Atlanta, Tokyo, New York, London, Paris, Berlin. So I feel like I'm watching Money Heist on Netflix right now when I'm looking at all these names. Let me know what your favorite city is as you're watching this, uh, where you'd actually like to visit or where you visited and enjoy. So let's go ahead and go to our secondary suite. So we come into this room here. The first thing that I notice when I walk in here is gonna be the wall over to my right, which is an actually cool wall. It doesn't have wallpaper, it's actually brickwork going all the way up with these cool accent lights over each of the windows. And of course we have the bed with the golden lipsticks above the bed. We do have a walk-in closet as well with plenty of space in it. It does go back a little bit as well. And then we continue and we see this really nice uh, mural of the New York skyline with the Empire State Building. And then we come over into the actual full bathroom with beautiful gray tiles. And of course we do have a sink with white cabinets black countertop, mirror lights, and then of course a frameless shower um, with beautiful tile work going all the way up to the ceiling. So let's go ahead and check out some of the other bedrooms. There's some pretty neat bedrooms over here. So let's go check that out. So as we go this direction and past the loft, we'll go here to our left and this is a really cool sports one. So as we come in here, we do have that really nice plush carpet here also. And then what really stands out is how they designed this with the woodworking and also the AstroTurf that's actually on the wall. I think that's really neat. Um, and then of course we even have a roof line uh, with a steel roof going over the bed area. Um, and then we even have where the different yard lines are, the 20, 30, 40, 50 yard lines there on the wall. Over to my right is going to be an actual full bathroom. So this is an ensuite that has its own bathroom. Of course, beautiful counter, uh, cabinets, countertop and mirror. And of course, a frameless shower with the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And also the tile work below is really neat as well. And then the closet is also cool. They've even made the closets cool in here. You should see the closet in the next bedroom, but they made this into a locker room. So you can open up the locker and go into your closet. They have the Jaguar, uh, Jacksonville Jaguar shirts in here. So even though we're not in Jacksonville, I guess they are fans of the Jags here in this community. So let's go ahead and close that behind us. And let's take you over to Bedroom number four, so we'll go here, go past this door. This is actually another full bathroom, but it connects to this bedroom. So we'll show you when we go in. So as you come in here, this is all sort of about comic book themes, cool little light fixture in the middle. And of course, this neat little accent wall. And then if I look up to the ceilings, they have it like bolted all the way around, like you're in some sort of uh, cubicle here. Uh, but what's really neat is the closet. Check out this closet. It is a England English telephone booth with the actual crown of the royal family up there and lit up telephone um, area. So as we open up this, we go into a closet. So that is pretty cool. I love how they've designed this specific home. And then of course, right behind this door is gonna be another full bathroom. This door here goes out to that loft area. We do have the nice cabinets, countertops, mirror, really cool light fixture, tile floor going all the way into a tub. And of course this beautiful tile going all the way up to the ceiling. So let's go ahead and what we can do next is go out and check out the outdoor living. Some of the best things about living in Florida is the outdoor living. So I'll meet you outside. All right, so let's check out the outdoor living of this amazing home. Let me close this door behind me, keep the air conditioning in. So as we're out here, this is the living room part of it. We have the beautiful tile floors going all the way through the outdoor living area. And the one thing that really stands out is when I look, this is a covered area and I look up at the ceiling. The ceiling has beautiful woodworking that goes all the way, all the way to the end. And of course we have our dining room area here for outdoor dining. And of course the summer kitchen with the refrigerator sink and also barbecue granite countertops. And then of course we look at what is best about Florida, which are the pools. We have this pool, plenty of seating area over there for sitting, drawing some drinks while you're in the pool. We have a raised jacuzzi, one of the tallest jacuzzis I think I've seen with this waterfall coming off. And of course we have a little tanning shelf and stairs going into the pool. So that is this home. I wanna thank you all for watching and talk to you all next time. Take care, bye-bye.